pack your bags, and leave your human rights at home because we are going to the People's Republic of China. Paul here with Military History Gear Review, and today we're going to be checking out this YJQ-308 Chinese Military Spade. This went viral in a video about 10 years ago, but China never fully adopted it. Still, we are going to be putting this to the test to see if China's military is really ready for prime time. So stay tuned. The manufacturer of the YJQ-308 produced this video about 10 years ago, and it went viral because of just how over the top it is. Check it out. So the YJQ-308 is meant to be a multi-function entrenching tool. Obviously it's meant for digging holes, but it also has a saw function as you can see from the blades here. It's meant to have an axe function from this bladed chopping surface. It has two hex nut screws, it has a hammer here, you can see we already used it to drive in some stakes, and when you unscrew it, it actually has a number of other functions built in to the joint here. It has a nail extractor, you can see here, it has wire cutters, be used to cut wire, right? And it also has a ruler, right here, up to 25 centimeters. So we won't be able to test out all the functions today, but we're going to try to do as many as we can, and we're going to see how this thing holds up. In order to put the YJQ-308 to the test, me and three friends Packed up, went out to the woods to see what this thing was made of. Take a swig, Eric. All right, so what we learned is if someone attacks you, you just need to pull it out, bend it to the 75 degree angle position, lock in the locking nut. Okay, now you can attack me. <laughs> Your attacker needs to be very precise with his blow. <laughs> <laughs> we tested out the shield function and so decided to set up camp and put the entrenching tool to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the check mix in the background doesn't make it very convincing. What are, what are we trying to convince people of? I don't know. It might actually be better off with a show function saw. Maybe not. Maybe just stop it. This is actually sort of effective. Oh, look at that! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, this thing broke right the fuck off! Look! Alright! Alright! This it is like the verdict! This thing is garbage! Anybody that tells you these things have any quality uh, is probably full of shit. This literally lasted approximately 10 chops. I cannot describe to you how disappointed. I am in this item. I should have predicted that was going to happen. In a lot of ways, that entrenching tool is like the People's Liberation Army. China's military has rolled out a massive string of innovations since undergoing its economic boom in the year 2000. They've introduced new fighter jets, an aircraft carrier, even a new battle rifle. And it all sounds impressive, right? But that fighter jet, it's a copy of a prototype that the Chinese stole for the F-35. 
That aircraft carrier is a former Soviet Union carrier that was refitted by the Chinese. It was originally built in sometime in the late 60s. It's broken down at sea nearly a half dozen times since the Chinese have refitted it. And the battle rifle has a host of issues, including blowing gas and powder into the shooter's face and having no left-handed configuration at all. This has been a theme of the PLA's modernization push. They feature innovative, modern-looking developments, but just beneath the surface, you really see the lack of homegrown combat and development expertise. One illustration is that a PLA's standard rifleman ground soldier and a U.S. Army soldier both sport similar digital patterned uniforms. That's about where the similarities end. The U.S. Army equips their riflemen with almost $20,000 worth of gear, while a standard field issue for a PLA soldier is valued at just $1,500. The U.S. soldier sports night vision devices, radio communications, ballistic vest and plates, and a battle rifle with red dot sights, laser aim pointers, sometimes even grenade launchers. PLA rifleman has none of that. It's difficult to take the PLA seriously as a modern fighting force when their ground troops don't even have standard issue body armor, something the U.S. has been giving their troops for 20 years. So like the YJQ-308, China's military at large may look new and innovative, but when you chop away at it, it still has a long way to go. All right, guys, oh, we came out here. We tried to test this thing out, but obviously it came up pretty short. Uh, I can't recommend this YJQ-308 really at all. Uh, it broke after just a tiny amount of use, and I think it's endemic of really the larger problem of the Chinese military. You know, they have a lot of the trappings of a modern, capable force, but if you get beneath the surface, you see there's still a lot of systemic, basic problems that they still have to resolve. But we still had a great time. Hopefully you guys learned at least something not to buy, and we will see you next time on Military History Gear Review.